Franklin, Andrew. We were busy having a conversation here. It's like, whoa. Okay. We, we are in the epicenter of, 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 so, of your facility. So to speak, epicenter. Isn't that what they refer to an earthquake? <laughs> yeah, the yes, they do, actually. No, this is where all your vitamins are made. This is where it all starts. Uh, directly behind us is the packaging line where Virtually all the products we're talking about this evening, uh, their capsules will have been placed in a bottle on this packaging line here. Behind those are the encapsulation machines where the capsules are made. Behind those or next to those are the blenders where all the powders are blended that comprise the powders that go into the capsules that go into the bottle. So everything happens right here. So I guess it is sort of the epicenter, as you said. This is the hub, and it's a hive of activity. Um, of course, if you're tuning in, you know Monday Night Show is always so much fun when Andrew is here with these special editions. Tonight, Andrew and I really call this your show, right, right. Andrew? Because it's your questions, and certainly we have products, we put graphics up on products, many of which we really don't have, normally have time to discuss, and, and that are the subject matter of a lot of questions, and the goal is really to answer your questions. I know Adam has a very long list of your questions, I have a list of questions as well, and that's what we're going to try to do, answer questions that might have pertained to the Today Specials we did yesterday, or anything else that comes up. And we'll just go with the flow, and you know, we, we, we really do, we go through maybe 10, 15, 20 different items throughout the course of the two hours so hold on tight it's going to be a fabulous ride in fact we're going to get started with an item that very rarely gets airtime i take this i think it's on the desk of virtually every host at hsn it's called breath plus and andrew for those of us out there that are dealing with people work environments friends family the confidence of knowing you've got fresh breath is is it's important and it's i mean it's a it's a great product. It's one of those products that you don't expect to be as effective as it is. But, but I'm someone I have a very acute sense of smell. So literally, if someone is within a foot or two of me and they've had coffee or they've had an alcoholic beverage or they had garlic or onions, I'm aware of it. And the reason why I'm aware of it is if we do that, the food, the beverage that we consumed, even if we have fantastic oral hygiene, the food or beverage we consumed is only about less than 18 inches away from our mouth. It's in our stomach. So obviously that kind of proximity, those foods or beverages that have an odor, it's not just going to be apparent to us, which usually we lose sight of it after a little while, kind of odor fatigue, but the people around us will be aware of it. I think the reason why the hosts here, you work in close proximity to others yeah. all the time. It's yeah. part of your job. And I think so many of us do the same, whether we're, you know, whether we might work in a, in a medical office, in a retail setting, in a sales setting. We find ourselves in cl close proximity with, with folks we're working with, whether it's coworkers or people that are clients of ours. So I think it's one of those incredibly affordable, sort of as they say, a sleeper product that you really don't expect it to do what it does as well as it does it. But it's a simple capsule that contains mother nature's most powerful deodorizers, parsley seed oil, peppermint oil, and spearmint oil, all extracts. So those oils, those potent deodorizing oils go to work with your stomach contents. So of course, oral hygiene is critically important, mm -hmm. but even with the best oral hygiene, this uh, this protects you from the odors of the contents in your digestive tract. It's been interesting because over the over the times that I've been on with Andrew and I've learned more and more about different breath fresheners, some of them are scary, Andrew. Like I, I'm sure one time I read that they kind of like not almost bleach your mouth, but there's some crazy well, ingredients out well, there. There's some crazy chemicals and say alcohol or preservatives when when you're looking at some of these different breath fresheners. And this is just it's just the three natural extracts. And of right. course, these natural extracts, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, tend to have benefits in terms of settling your stomach as well. They also are rich in antioxidants, protective compounds. So again, with my products, you're not going to read the label and find any scary ingredients or things that require warnings about side effects. All you're going to find are ingredients that deliver even greater benefits than that which you're seeking. And in this case, with this product, what you're really seeking is something that naturally goes to work with the odors of things that we might want, not want others to know we just consume, <laughs> whether it's garlic or onions or coffee or even alcohol, things like that. And really make this part of your daily routine. I mean, I take two every single day. It's just part of my Andrew Lessman vitamin supplement, you know, uh, regimen. And, and a lot of folks who might struggle with what they call morning breath, it, it's not necessarily a result of our morning hygiene, even if we brush and floss and do all the right things. They take this before they go to bed at night. 
uh, because they find that in the morning it deals with the stomach contents, which right. is also a source of the odor we experience. So we love this item. Remember, uh, we're going to be getting you know, eight cents a capsule, by the way, also. So incredibly affordable. In most cases, one capsule is sufficient at most two capsules. They're tiny capsules, so it's really affordable as now, well. One of the things that we like to do on the Monday Night Show with Andrew is we'll get through as much as we can. Please know that every item that we're going to present is on special pricing. And Andrew, if I'm not mistaken, that pricing is through tonight at midnight. I believe, yeah, I believe it's through midnight tonight. So everything, all of the products, all of our assortment, uh, all of those products are on their event special pricing until midnight tonight. So whatever we talk about, even if we don't talk about it, it's still at event pricing. I'm crazy flex, by the way. Andrew and I were saying this yesterday. We have the most <laughs> amazing flex for the holidays. So, so technically, you could get the 720. 20 capsule supply of this and that 720 capsules it could last you a few years um, but you could get six play six flex and not even pay ten dollars a payment on this well and with that in mind we're going to roll along to our next item um, if you are on our Facebook live stream we will get to so many of those questions remember Andrew also has words on wellness.com yep. what tell us about that Andrew well words on wellness it's oftentimes I, I don't have as much time as I'd like to write or record blogs video blogs or written blogs as I'd like, but that's where we, I typically post things. If news items come up that are important or before a visit, I'll talk about what's coming up in a visit. I just noticed there's a question here. We just had our Today Special the other day with our Choco Nuvo. Yeah. And there were a number of questions. Is Choco Nuvo okay if you're lactose intolerant? Is, is Choco Nuvo okay if you have celiac or you have gluten intolerance? Absolutely, I don't make a, a single product that has, even our, even our meal replacements don't have any lactose in them. Um, they're all gluten-free. All of my products are gluten-free. So just please be aware that we make sure that everything we make, you don't have to have those kinds of worries or concerns at all. So Choco Nuvo, no lactose. We get it creamy like milk chocolate without using milk. We use plant sterile esters which lower your cholesterol and make it the creamiest dark chocolate. So, so we make sure that when you're getting the products you get to enjoy the benefits only consider the benefits because we take out all of the product the ingredients that are problematic in in other companies products we do it differently well next up we're going to talk about something that a lot of us need this time of year it's the best time of year but it's the most stressful time of year it's it's certainly what i need this time of year <laughs> because as i say we often uh, mural and i probably twice a year two or three times a year we go back to france because that's where her family is from and coming back from France is a nine hour time difference. So it's fine if I go to bed early here, but normally I then wake up, it's like still dark out. Right. So, so jet lag is a challenge. And for me, nighttime, especially when we go over there, that traveling east for me from going from the Pacific time zone here, going all the way to Europe, nine hours difference. For me, that is when nighttime becomes indispensable because it helps me go to sleep in an hour. I normally wouldn't be going to sleep because say 10 o'clock in the evening there, there, it's one o'clock in the afternoon here yeah. so and it helps you stay asleep so uh, again nighttime especially this time of year whether it's might not be jet lag whether it's the challenges that come with this time of year we stay out later we might eat heavier foods we might drink a little bit more alcohol so there's lots of challenges to our normal sleep and as we get older don't think you're abnormal as all of us get older our sleep becomes more fragile there's a number of changes that go on hormonally in our body the way our brain behaves changes so these are just normal natural changes Changes. So to the extent we can naturally support and retain that natural sleep process, that's the goal with nighttime. It's always been the goal with nighttime. To do it gently, to do it naturally, no hangover in the morning, no, it's not habit forming at all. It's just a natural product that supports hopefully a natural normal sleep pattern. Well I think though, and we've talked about this at length on previous Monday night shows, but we're also connected to our gadgets. I mean, look at me now with my iPad. I'm like staring at the no, no, screen. No, I, I have a long time. I learned a long time ago. I, I love to read before I go to sleep. And what's fascinating, if I read a book, I barely get one or two pages before I fall asleep. Right. If I'm reading that same book on an electronic device, I'll read 20 or 30 pages 
and I realize I'm not getting sleepy. There's something about, at least for me, and I've read studies that confirm this, there's something about the radiation from those devices and the interacting with those devices that keeps me alert and awake. There's something about me just reading the written word on a page that is soothing, relaxing, and I find myself going to sleep. The book at the side of my bed, it could be 400 pages long, it could take me a year to finish because I fall asleep <laughs> too quickly. But if I'm reading it on an electronic device, uh, I finish the book in no time at all. So again, there are things we need to be aware of, that that kind of light and radiation, the interacting with an electronic device is stimulating, and it's not going to encourage us to fall asleep. I'm someone who I have absolutely always forbidden a TV in my bedroom. Ooh, because, controversial. Because a TV in my bedroom, it's too easy to interact with it before I go to sleep, right. and, and it's, I find it stimulating. So again, uh, there's certain things we could do. It's called sleep hygiene, and sleep hygiene is an entire area that would be fun to do a little research on it, where it's about the, the, the radiation in your room, and I'm yeah. talking about vis visual radiation, that we have so many LEDs and blinking lights and things like that in our bedrooms now. Our bedroom should be dark. There's all sorts of great studies that even sleeping in a darker room is associated with a lower risk of cancer lifetime. It's, wow. it's fascinating. And that we want to have a quiet space. We want a cool space. Um, we'd better be under blankets in a cool space, and I think it's ideally around 68 degrees or so. We sleep better. There was great studies where they compared it even to sleep medications, where all they did is put sort of a cap on people's heads, right. and the cap had a cooling fluid in it. So all it did was cool your cranium, cool your head, and in so doing, cool your brain, and that, in, that induced better sleep. So there's all sorts of simple things we can do, cooler room, darker room, uh, a good consistent time of sleep. You don't want to sleep too much, but you really don't want to sleep too little. I mean, this, there's so many of these items that we just never get a chance to really get into, and, and, and really with nighttime, it's a non-addictive, all-natural way just to get a little bit of support. But I suppose yeah. it's the same with the melatonin, right? And we have a little bit of melatonin here, not too much, because the goal isn't knocking you out. The goal also isn't substituting for your own natural, normal melatonin synthesis. Because if you start delivering too much melatonin, then your body will essentially go offline and say, okay, we don't really have to worry about synthesizing this and producing this when it's time for us to go to sleep because we're getting so much externally. So it's sort of a delicate delicate balance and we'd rather err on the side of being conservative and supporting your normal sleep pattern and normal sleep cycle than knocking you out. Knocking you out, I'll leave that to <laughs> the drugs, the drugs and, right. and medicines. And now there are there are so many and whether it's the sleep drugs or whether it's the before the sleep drugs really came online, say 20 years ago or so, things like Ambien and Lunesta and things like that, uh, doctors were using things like benzodiazepines, mm -hmm. things like um, Valium, Xanax, th things like that, which if you look at the chemistry of those drugs, the biochemistry of those drugs, they suppress the normal synthesis, the normal neurochemicals that are part of healthy sleep. Yes, these, these drugs will facilitate your falling asleep, but they undermine the very process of having a healthy, regular sleep pattern. So again, work closely with your doctor. Hopefully your doctor um, encourages healthy alternative approaches because the medicines should really be the last resort. And I think most physicians look at it that way as well. Well, we're going to move on to two items which I started with last year, and Andrew, I need to ask you right out of the but game. But one, one quick thing about sleep again, the last thing. Yeah. Most people don't realize. They think they have a caffeine, an espresso, or coffee. They think that hits them instantaneously, and it's gone in an hour or so. Right. Absolutely untrue. It actually takes a while for the caffeine to really deliver its benefit. We'll notice it quickly, but it continues for five, eight, to even ten hours afterwards, depending on the individual. So you really want to be aware, if you're struggling with your sleep, that caffeine is stimulating. Plus, if you're struggling with anxiety, caffeine just needs to not be part of your world until that's no longer a struggle. Well, two of the best kept secrets in Andrew's line are fruitful and cruciferous um, uh, vegetable extracts. I, I feature this now because it's so difficult to get great produce this time of right. year. 
So what these products are designed to do, both fruitful antioxidant and cruciferous extracts, looking at the healthiest fruits and the healthiest protective compounds in those fruits, looking at the healthiest vegetables, cruciferous vegetables, and the healthiest protective compounds in those, and then we extract all the things you don't want in a supplement. You don't need the calories, you don't need the sugar, the carbs, whatever. You want the protective compounds. So that's we focused on both of these. This is the time of year when we tend to lack these ingredients so you could get them separately. Or, or the two together. If you get the two together, you're really getting the most important concentrated sources of protective compounds in a healthy diet. Cruciferous vegetables and those dark, rich purple and red fruits. So Andrew, a couple of questions that we had. Well, first of all, why is it that we are typically wired as kids to not like Vegetables. No, they're why? Gonna say, they're going to say, "Why are we typically wired as kids?" <laughs> Meaning that why are kids so so energetic and that's like all that. the soda. No, but I, I think, and it's very funny. I think um, I, I look at my godchildren, and my godchildren, um, they love vegetables. Right. So I think a lot of it is is conditioning, and, and I think certainly in our society for the past, when I was a kid growing up, it was mostly kind of meat and potatoes. Sure. So it was easy to love potatoes, whether it was mashed potatoes or baked potato. It's got to put butter on it and right. salt and things like and that, or time. sour cream. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was great. So I think it's the nature of exposure. Um, if you went back probably a few generations before that, vegetables were more common and, and more commonly enjoyed. So I think that whatever we have, we, we normally, naturally, as human beings, love to eat. So whatever is available, whatever is prepared well, we're going to eat it, and we are a creature of habit. We tend to, we tend to adopt whatever it is we're raised into. Right. So whether it's the, sometimes the political views of our parents, the religions of our parents, the lifestyles of our parents, we tend to adopt those. So it's an opportunity with children. I think they're not necessarily wired to eat a certain way, but I think to the extent we can influence them, and we certainly can, it's an opportunity to encourage them to enjoy fruits and vegetables. And I often talk about Miro's cookbooks, which for me make vegetables fun and a pleasure to eat. But One of the things that, I you mean, know, Andrew said this time of year, getting that great produce a little more challenging. If there's anybody at home right now who knows that they are not eating as many vegetables or fruits as they should, or perhaps it's a loved one in the family that you know is not eating enough of that broccoli or the carrots or the important vegetables that really are the building blocks to a healthy and successful life, get them this. I mean, we're all about gift giving right now and we're thinking holidays. I'm telling you, for Christmas, let's get somebody you love and care about. Let's get them a bottle of cruciferous vegetable extracts and get them some of the fruitful. Andrew, this would make a wonderful gift. It's, it's a fantastic gift. And when you, when you look at the ingredients in there, again, I often say the, the internet's kind of a two-edged sword. We all hear all the problems that can arise because of the internet and information available there. But if you're curious, and if you're curious certainly about your health, the availability of information is incredible. When you look at the ingredients, say, in our fruitful antioxidant extracts or in the cruciferous vegetable extracts, you could find at the National Institute of Health website, you could just do some research, you could just do a Google search, and you find all of the exciting benefits from, say, the anthocyanins in the fruitful antioxidant product. I'm going to, I have a capsule of the fruitful antioxidant product, and, and this is, I think this is the fruitful, not the cruciferous. And, and this is probably, I'd say this is at least a gallon of water. That's a lot of water. And, and if we just, I mean, we could put two in there, but if, that's just one capsule. And if you give it a moment, what will end up happening, that water will almost look black, that it becomes so deep purple. And that's just from one capsule. And that's because instead of this just being dried fruit, yeah. what it is, these are extracts that are concentrating and they're very costly. Dried fruit is inexpensive, but when you're trying to concentrate the anthocyanins, these are the polyphenols that provide us the benefits, whether it's to our eyes or our blood vessels, to night vision, those are the compounds. And you can see the, the visual purple portion of our retina relies on those anthocyanins for our night vision, but you can see how dark this became. That was one capsule in about a gallon of water. Uh, I, I, and, and both whether it's the fruitful antioxidant extracts, the cruciferous vegetable extracts, it's more their pungent uh, flavor than a color, but they're all the same level of concentration right. to deliver the pre protective compounds. And just so you know, in fruitful, there's acai, there's bilberry, cranberry, well, here. blueberry. Oh, good, we've got it's, a bigger chart. No, we couldn't even do a normal size chart. 
Um, so we have three different standardizations of acai berry. We have two different standardizations of bilberry extract, the same that's in our ultimate eye support. Black elder, as you can see, both anth anthocyanins. Uh, cranberry extract, grape skin extract, pomegranate extract, blueberry extract, cherry extract, and again, anthocyanin anthocyanins. Um, anthocyanins, putocalagans and elagic acid and pomegranate, cherry extract, chokeberry extract, grapeseed extract, raspberry extract, resveratrol, 20 milligrams, <sighs> strawberry extract, blackberry extract, apple polyphenols and apple, apple extract, and then 30 milligrams of vitamin C because we usually get a little vitamin C with our fruit. So, and again, that's the reason why there's so much, there's no additives. That little capsule I opened, there's no additives at all. It's 100% the ingredients on that chart. Nothing else added. And that's a statement that I don't think there's any other company in the world, vitamin or supplement manufacturer in the world, that can make that statement about all their products. They put the active ingredients, the beneficial ingredients you seek, and nothing else. That's why we're in the desert right now in Nevada. And right. this is the factory, the low humidity. I think all of our lips are a little chapped yeah. here because it's so, such low humidity here, but that low humidity enables us to make 100% pure products using the energy of the sun. So I don't, I would confidently say there isn't a more environmentally responsible company than my company. For over 20 years, our manufacturing facility has had zero carbon footprint. Not a diminished carbon footprint, zero carbon footprint. And we've also zeroed out the carbon footprint of all our shipments as well. So we've had no carbon footprint since I started this company and that's been my goal. So if the environment is something you care about, not just your health, then we not only support your health better than anyone else, we also don't forget the health of our planet. It's a feel good win-win all the way around because when you shop with Andrew, when you shop with ProCaps, you're buying product that is pure, no additives, no fillers, and you're getting it in a place that's made in the most amazing way, using the power of, you know, the natural sun. And, and what's interesting, many, many would say that solar panels don't really, aren't that efficient, can't really pro provide that much energy. Well, this facility is, is the proof that they are absolutely positively yeah. wrong. Yeah. Solar panels have actually become quite affordable and they've become quite efficient. So whether you have them on your home or you have them on a facility like mine, that imagine in the summer here, this facility, hundreds of thousands of square feet, and in the summer, it's 115, 120 degrees outside. We have to cool this facility in the manufacturing area to about 60 some odd degrees. Imagine the energy it takes to do that. Yeah. And we do it all with the sun. So it, it's it the sun, the sun does provide an enormous opportunity. So again, instead of us using probably millions of gallons of fuel every year of some form to generate the energy to make your vitamins, we use zero, absolutely zero. Well, we're kind of building your day because we, we did our restful sleep with nighttime, <laughs> right? Now, when we wake up out of bed, we need a good, hearty, healthy breakfast. And, and one of the, I, I, there was a question that asked, which is better for lowering cholesterol? The, the Choco Nuvo or the Ultimate Oatmeal, Ultimate Oat Bran? They're, they both contain the same plant sterile. This is a plant sterile, Choco Nuvo is a plant sterile ester. But oatmeal and oat bran have their own independent cholesterol lowering properties as well as a result of something called beta-glucan. So potentially, well, the, the two would be perfect if you had your oatmeal or oat bran in the morning or whatever meal it might be, and then say with your other meals, you had a square of Choco Nuvo. That would be the perfect way to do so. So I would have to say that potentially oatmeal and oat bran have a little bit of an edge um, over the Choco Nuvo, although you could read science that tells you that dark chocolate, independent of the plant sterols we add, dark chocolate in and of itself has a benefit in terms of our cholesterol levels, lowering total cholesterol, raising our HDL, our good cholesterol. So both are great if the perfect, perfect daily regime would be to have this first thing in the morning with breakfast, and then, and I always like to put a little flax seed in with this as well, and then with lunch and dinner, just have a Choco Nuvo Square. I would say if you do that, you could expect your cholesterol levels to drop 15, 20% or more, including your LDL levels, which are your bad cholesterol that you want to go down. Um, you know, flavor is a big part of the and success. This, this is, there's no better oatmeal in the world. It's true. And, and partly because we're a little guy oatmeal producer, we, we get ours fresh and also because the oatmeal we have is not just organic, it's also gluten-free. 
most oatmeal and oat bran, virtually all oatmeal and oat bran is not gluten free. Um, in fact, we had to wait to have this created because it didn't even exist. Right. Um, and then you might be saying, how could oatmeal or oat bran have gluten? It doesn't contain gluten naturally. You're correct, it doesn't contain gluten naturally. But our systems and warehouses and transport facilities are so overwhelmed by wheat and the presence of wheat previously that they're basically all oatmeal and oat bran is contaminated with wheat gluten. So the only way you get a product like this is if it's been specifically isolated and segregated through every step of production. Yeah. And it's very hard to get, very rare. So it comes in really small batches. We often run out of it, um, but that's why you can count on it being the freshest and most delicious oatmeal or oat bran you've ever tried in your life. And if you read the reviews, and it also contains that cholesterol-lowering ingredient, of course. Yes. If you read the reviews, it's virtually perfectly related, oat, uh, perfectly reviewed oatmeal and oat bran, oat bran, and that's because it's such a unique quality and variety. We're gonna head this way, and Andrew, one of your top three questions that you get asked every time yes. is, how many supplements do you take on an average day? How many supplements? I take uh, rough, I take most of the products I make. Right. Most of the products I make. Uh, something like Breath Plus, I don't often take. Um, Digestisure, I only take when I have a large meal. I take, say, Friendly Floor on a daily basis. I take Ultimate Eye, of course. I take Glucosamine and Chondroitin. I take our marine collagen and peptides, um, healthy hair, skin, and nails. Uh, so I take Omega-3, of course. I now take our Max Essential Omega-3, and I take our Algal Oil. But I, I take most of the standard system-focused products. The, the PC liver and brain, I take, always take in PC. Sometimes I'll take the PC granules instead of the PC capsules. So I, I take most of the products I make that are specific system focused, but some products are redundant. So of course, if I take one product, then I don't need to take the other product. And that's pretty straightforward. And one last quick question for Mary. Hi, Mary. Uh, Mary says, can I take ultimate oatmeal if I'm on a blood thinner and cannot have green vegetables? Uh, ultimate oatmeal would have no issue. The reason why, uh, typically she's probably on uh, a blood thinner like Coumadin or things like that. The newer blood thinners, the whole green vegetable issue because of the presence of vitamin K1, um, that, that's no longer an issue with the newer generation, I think like Zeralta and things like that, the newer generation of blood thinners. But for those of us who have been told no green vegetables because uh, we're taking a blood thinner, um, absolutely not an issue with oatmeal or oat bran. There's no um, vitamin K1 that's problematic in oatmeal or oat bran at all. Keep your questions Same coming. Same with our cruciferous vegetables. You don't have to worry. Our cruciferous vegetable extract product um, doesn't have appreciable levels of vitamin K1, so it's not an issue. And vitamin K1 is about clotting. Vitamin K2, MK7, a product we'll talk about in a little while, that is a product that, that doesn't relate to clotting, that has a different role in the body, and its very important role relates to calcium metabolism, and in so doing, the health of our bones and the flexibility of our arteries, two important goals. Take advantage of this show tonight, honestly. This is the last show before Christmas, obviously, yes. till the new year. If you've, got, if you've watched Andrew for years on HSN and QVC, and you've got, uh, you know, we always recommend you see a doctor, obviously, and get, uh, see what the physician will say, but take right. advantage of Andrew's expertise and, in his line of supplements. And, and most of our products have no implication or bearing on, on medications or drugs. If, if it did, we wouldn't make them. Uh, again, most of our products, uh, say if we're talking about our Ultimate Oatmeal or our Choco Nuvo, that can help lower total and LDL cholesterol, absolutely positively can take them with a cholesterol-lowering drug, but it should be something that you participate with your doctor because in all likelihood, you'll be able to change the dosage of that medication, and as many reviews have talked about, working with their doctor, they were able even to eliminate it. So it's always great to be a partner with your doctor. That's what your doctor wants, that if you're doing healthy dietary and lifestyle things, that you share those with your doctor because I think that reduces the burden of what your doctor has to contend with with you. Well, we're gonna to continue to build that day. Again, we've, we've slept better. We started with some great oatmeal, and now we need to talk about fiber. <laughs> oh, well, well, most people, <laughs> Shan and I were, were discussing that just the other day. It's most people consider the best way to start a day, not, not just by having a good night's sleep, yes. but by knowing they're starting that day in a very appropriately regular fashion. And the, the key to regularity, of course, is adequate fiber intake. 
one of the most defining characteristics of the American diet is an, is an absolute deficiency or insufficiency of fiber. Uh, our fiber, real fiber, can't really de be delivered to you in a beverage and water that's going to be crystal clear. That is not real fiber. That's something like maltodextrin, that's processed fibers from grains or things like that. This is real fiber. That's why we put it in a capsule, because real fiber is almost going to be like wood pulp. So real fiber it's is real, nice. it's, it's real, um, and as you can see with mine, I'm gonna open the capsule here. It's an ultra fine powder. It's like dust. And the reason why it is, that will make it the most mild. It's capacity to absorb fluid, absorb moisture, then, and thereby go through your body gently, naturally, not just, in, not just encouraging regularity, but also uh, fiber has a role in cleansing and protecting your digestive system, especially your intestines, your colon. So a healthy fiber intake is a critical part of regularity, a critical part of healthy digestion. In a little while, we'll talk about probiotics and friendly flora, but the best food for our friendly flora are foods rich in fiber. Fiber is an exceptional food source, nourishing source, a great medium for our probiotics, for the healthy friends that we have in our digestive system. And just to Andrew's point, 82% five-star reviews. I mean, on a fiber product, Andrew, that's unheard of. Well, for most people hate fiber products because they're not pleasant to take. Uh, and again, I don't think a fiber product is appropriately mixed with water in a clear beverage. That's not really going to be fiber. It might technically meet the definition of fiber, but it's not going to deliver you the benefits that this fiber delivers. This natural, mild, as powerful as it is, it is exceptionally mild. No bloating, no discomfort. And again, it, it wouldn't have virtually perfect reviews if it weren't an exceptional fiber product. And all of the products we're talking about in this hour are all customer picks. As I've said before, I think at last count, and this was several months ago, we had over 80,000 total reviews online, yep. uh, of which those reviews were about 85% five star, over 90% positive, averaging between 4.6 and 4.7 stars. All of, all of my products. So that hopefully is a testament that you can feel secure and trust them. We're gonna go this way to talk about, well obviously Andrew, this time of year, we're all very susceptible. Right. You know, the weather, the, the, the stress. You've got a product called Immune Factors that often gets talked about as being something that we go to year after year. It's on our radar, we start to take Immune Factors. Well, and especially this is the time of year, but I hope what Immune Factors does is remind us that it's our immune system that is our last and really our only line of defense. And to the extent we could support a healthy immune system, and I think most of us know what that requires, but to the extent we can support a healthy immune system, we're going to be contending with fewer issues and problems. And the, and the best way to support a healthy immune system is with adequate sleep, which this time of year, of course, is more challenging than, than any time of year. Uh, and then, of course, we want to make sure that we're eating a healthy diet. We want to make sure when people talk about moisturizing their skin and spending ex a lot of money on expensive moisturizing products, the best way to start in terms of skin moisturization is by being adequately hydrated throughout the year and most of us forget that in winter especially in the northern climates where everywhere it gets cooler when we heat the air to it to create our comfortable temperature ambient temperature in an internal in an indoor environment that effectively dramatically lowers the relative humidity of the air we breathe and the air we're surrounded by so we're like a a moist sponge in a very dry environment in the desert during the winter and it's just pulling the moisture out of us by way of our skin and by way of every breath we take. So if we want to have moist skin, if we want to have a healthy immune system, we need to be adequately hydrated because again, we are, human beings are an aqueous environment. We are mostly water. We talk about how important certain nutrients are or protein might be. They all take a distant back seat in terms of quantity of our composition to water. So water is a critical part of our immune system, a critical part of having beautiful skin. So hopefully, as part of using this product, which 
is almost a perfectly reviewed product. It's been improved since the day we introduced it almost 40 years ago when it was vitamin C and B complex. It's been improved, we've added standardized extracts that they themselves have improved of echinacea and gold seal, standardized extracts of astragalus, uh, an ever improving extract of, of mushroom complex, standardized for beta-glucan. So we've constantly improved this product and the reviews have only gotten better. I think it's rated almost five stars itself. I think it's rated 4.7 or 4.7. 4.8 stars. 4.8. 4.8 stars. So again, the key to approaching our immune system this time of year is remembering that what we do determines how well it can work on our behalf. And that starts with how well we sleep, how well we eat, how well we hydrate. All of those things are a critical component of a healthy immune system. Now, if you've been watching Andrew for the past couple days, and maybe, maybe it was this, or maybe it was going to be Fibromucil or the oatmeal or any of the products in Andrew's line, don't forget, all the pricing does expire in the special free shipping at midnight tonight. And just so everybody knows, it is six flex for everything on right. every size. If you, if you choose. If you choose. Even uh, you can see the small size of our, our immune factors, our trimi size is $13.90. So I guess technically you could do a six flex and pay $2 a month for six months. I'm not sure <laughs> if that's really practical. But, but again, it's, and I don't know if, if folks ever notice if they have the camera on me like now where I have, I have a cup of tea. Yes, um, my it's friends, always in your hand. My friends know that, you know, if I go to the gym and they see a cup of tea like this, they know I left it there. That it's kind of they know me by seeing my dog Lincoln they know me when I leave my tea behind that I I always have I always when I'm on a set here it's low humidity here in the desert for the two hours we're going to be here I'll probably drink I'll probably drink at least a quart if not more of of tea and of course tea is 99.99% water it just has other protective compounds in it as well so hydration is can't emphasize it enough and what I hear all the time from both men and women as they get older because of our urinary tract and all of the issues that are associated with that you know more urgency when we need to go it just it discourages us it discourages our adequately hydrating ourselves meaning it discourages us from drinking enough fluid because we don't want to have to contend with getting rid of that fluid that we've consumed but it's worth the effort because being adequately hydrated, incredible for your, or your immune system, incredible for the beauty of your skin, and, and just for all the systems in your body, whether the functioning of your liver, your digestive system, incredibly important. So we are now, I think, seven products in, Andrew, in 30 minutes, which is pretty, pretty we, fast. No, we're, we're go running from products, but, but hopefully in answering a lot of questions and I'm trying to talk more about the information that surrounds the use of a product than the product itself. During our normal shows, we have plenty of time to talk about the actual ingredients themselves. I'd rather talk about the implications of those ingredients in general in terms of science and things. And, and this, is, this is a product where that's... Uh, a really kind of fun and yet straightforward discussion, digest to sure, that I'm not sure if many of us ever think that we eat fish or chicken or oatmeal or vegetables, whatever it might be. We eat all sorts of random foods. How the heck do those foods become us? Right. Because everything we are is something we ate. And again, repeating that, everything we are is literally something we ate. But how does that happen? That we could eat fish and we could eat chicken. And normally if we cook foods, we cook them at hundreds of degrees or even hotter. How does that chemical work take place in our stomach, in our intestines, that we somehow are able to get all the constituent molecules out of things we've eaten? How do we break them down? And the simple answer is enzymes. Enzymes are these molecules, protein-based molecules, that have this incredible ability to make chemical reactions that norm normally would take a tremendous amount of energy or harsh chemicals. It allows them to take place in a less harsh environment without extremes of temperature. That's what enzymes do. And that's what happens every time we stick something in our stomach and eat it. So whether we have a piece of chicken or a piece of fish, the enzymes digest it into its constituent molecules. Our body then absorbs those molecules principally in the small intestine. And then we get rid of it before we, it hangs around too long in us and causes problems. But those enzymes are the answer to everything in terms of how do we get the individual molecules and nutrients we need out of those foods. And yet, as we get older, we don't secrete, produce, synthesize those enzymes adequately. And those are the changes that when we don't digest things well, 
What is bad digestion? We have a simple word for it, indigestion. So Digestasure is simply providing an abundance of the enzymes that as we get older, if we're under stress, whatever it might be that we lack, it's another one of those products, simple, straightforward, 100% pure enzymes that's virtually perfectly reviewed. We have a couple minutes left before we move on to our next one. And in about 10 minutes, Andrew and I are gonna go on a tour behind the scenes. You'll get to see exactly where everything happens. Andrew, we did just get a question, so I'd love to address it. Right. Um, yesterday, we were featuring a lot of Soleil, Andrew's brand new sunscreen. If you ordered some of the larger sizes of the today's special or monthly specials, you'll right. receive this. The monthly special goes on till December 31st, and if you get the large sizes of the vitamin K2 or the CalMag, uh, you'll get a small sample of our Soleil. It's certainly not sunscreen season yet, but I was just so excited because it, it's truly a breakthrough product. It is. And, and given that the only perfect sunscreen in the world is going to be zinc oxide based, not chemical based. So a zinc oxide based sunscreen, it's minerals. It's something I've known a lot about for obviously a long time because we make vitamin mineral supplement products and our zinc oxide. I made my first zinc oxide sunscreen 25 years ago and uh, we stopped making it about 15 years ago. It was still the best on the market at the time. And now we've resurrected an even better version. It just, it mixes perfectly with foundation. You can mix it with moisturizer because it's about 53% water. Between the water and the zinc oxide, that represents um, over 70% of the formula. And most formulas are dozens of ingredients. This formula is barely a dozen ingredients. And no preservatives, non-comedogenic, designed for sensitive skin. It's ophthalmologist tested. It's, we'll talk about it in the it's summer good. next year. It's I, really I just good. was so excited about it that we, we haven't even finished the, the finished product in terms of the full size package but I just put together these samples just so everyone could experience what it is to have a really amazing and healthy sunscreen, healthy for you and healthy for the planet, which can't be said for the majority of sunscreens on the market. We're gonna head over to Healthy Hair, Skin and Nails, and as we do, Pat wants the inside scoop, Andrew. Pat is asking, in a hushed voice, <laughs> what will be the Today Special in January of 2019? Shall I answer in a hushed voice? <laughs> I think you should. Just, it's, it's our little secret, just us what three. What was that commercial when, well, something about uh, when E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. Yes. They, we would, we're, it was like they'd be whispering on a plane and everybody would <laughs> be listening. Um, so the Today Special, um, the first Today Special, which will be about six weeks from now, um, will be our secure meal replacement. Okay. At, and we've had the Secure Meal Replacement for over 30 years, lowest pricing ever, best cost per meal ever on the Secure Meal Replacement. And we'll have our chocolate, vanilla, coffee. Um, so that will be here, the lowest, lowest calorie, best tasting meal replacement in the world. Um, that, and we'll also have our, um, what else? We'll have Cholesticare right. as a today's special. We'll have, uh, oh, circulation vein support. Great. And we have some great monthly specials, glucosamine chondroitin. So it's going to be a great January. The most popular products that are typically ordered in January, what we do is we make them the today's special so they become the most affordable time of year to buy the most popular product that time of year. So well, we, we cannot do any show without mentioning Healthy Hair, Skin and Nails. It would be just wrong if we did not talk about this product. Andrew, you, you were a trailblazer with this. There's been a lot of imitators. Well, no, I, I, I'm not the trailblazer. I made this product, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I kind of had to have my arm twisted. <laughs> um, I, there was so much request and demand that I make a supplement that could support healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy nails. Just I get requ requests for all sorts of systems in our body, whether it's our heart, our brains, our joints. And, and I kept getting this request. And at this time, about 30 years ago, there weren't healthy hair, skin, and nail supplements out there. So the, the impetus to make this product, and I knew I could make it, but the impetus to make this product didn't come from me or anyone at my company. It came from everyone who uses our product. So that was the impetus to make it. And I, it took me a long time to make it, both because we test a product seriously before we produce it. Right. Plus, I, I was a little bit dismissive of the idea of making this product. I was busy making those other products for healthy hearts and healthy brains and healthy joints that I didn't think this was a serious enough product to be worthy of my attention. Um, I was wrong. Yeah. I, I was wrong because it might not have seemed like a product that spoke to a serious part of our body in terms of our overall health, but it certainly spoke to a part or parts of our body that were a serious issue in terms of our overall 
how would you call it, well-being, yeah. our sense of well-being. So it, it didn't take long before this became much to my, you know, I was, I was gl glad to admit myself as being wrong. I thought we'd make this, it would be a, a very minor product. It's our most popular, right with CoQ10 and Essential One and Omega-3, it's our most popular reorder product. So it's, um, it, it, that speaks to its efficacy because it's a product that, and I knew from the day I made it, it would be a see the difference, feel the difference product. And it's a product that uh, today is eight times in biotin, our special bioavailable biotin. It's eight times more potent than the original, yet despite it's being eight times more potent and having other ingredients as well, it's also lower cost per capsule right. than when I introduced the product, I guess it's now, uh, over 20 years ago. So, so it's got better, it's evolved into something more? It's evolved and it's become less expensive. Just as we'll talk about CoQ10 later, that's happened with CoQ10. Uh, and these are two products that really the difference in cost has gone down dramatically. The improvement in efficacy has gone from has, as great as it was when we introduced it to be even better. These are products that are, again, virtually perfectly reviewed. I think with oh. Healthy Hair, Skin and Nails, I think there's over 5,000 reviews that we've received in the last few years alone. And those 5,000 reviews, uh, it's a product that's again over 90% positive reviews. I think its average is 4.5 stars. Yep. So um, when you're dealing with a product like this, of course, like our immune factors, this is a product where people expect it to deliver. Yes. And, um, and in fact, in January, we'll be talking about our circulation vein support. Uh, if you're gonna reorder that now, reorder a small size because we'll have an incredible today special on our circulation and vein support in January. Another see the difference, feel the difference product. And, and when, when I talk about a product in this fashion on air, you can be certain that when someone orders it and it gets home with them, they expect to see a difference or they're going to write about it. And I think the reason why our reviews are so overwhelmingly positive is I think most people are kind of like me we're a little skeptical. Sure. We need to have it proven, but when it's proven, we are enthusiastic and I tend to write I tend to write one of two kinds of reviews, either because I'm so astounded at how well it worked or that I'm so disappointed that it was even worse than my skepticism, and that's when I'll tend to write a review. Andrew, two quick things, because, sure. because Nancy, talking about healthy hair, skin and nails, says that she was using one of the other store-bought brands, um, not impressed with the results. She tried yours, and oh my gosh, within 10 days of taking, my nails were strong and growing, not breaking off or splitting. I've used this for a few months now. I noticed my hair is shining more. My skin is radiant, thank you, and then, as equally important, we have a message, Andrew, from one of your number one fans. Joanne says, hi, Mr. McDreamy. <laughs> <laughs> she loves your vitamins, Andrew. <laughs> That's very nice. You're going to make me blush now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McDreamy, that's Andrew's I'm, new name. I'm, I'm not Mr. McDreamy. I just make really great vitamins, That's and, and I am blushing. So, no, I just, my, my sole goal, I mean, I, and initially I had no intention back 30 years ago, uh, when I first, almost 30 years ago, when I first went on QVC, right. the one thing I was absolutely steadfast and, and not going to change my mind about was the fact that Yes, I will make the best vitamins in the world that right. we, will, we will take to QVC's customers back then, but I will not go on TV. That's just was, not what I do. It just wasn't your thing. I just, it's not, I'm, I'm the science guy. Um, it's, that's, that's what I do. I'm involved in the technical issues of the formulation and the manufacture of these supplements. We make everything. We're about to have a tour here. But uh, so, so it's always when I hear a review like that, I, I, it, it's kind of funny because what I do take pride in is the quality of our products. And, and I love reading the reviews because, as I've said, uh, on all our products, uh, about 95% of the reviews are positive reviews. And, and even the reviews that aren't good, they give us insight. They help us to make our products better. And that's, I appreciate those as well. Andrew, you know, you know Iris Apfel, the amazing Iris Apfel. I think she is amazing. How, she's 90... 97, Andrew. 97. And we were... We, she May I be blessed to be in her health at 97 and still able to do this on television. She's got more energy than me. She's amazing. She, she wrote a book and it was called Accidental Icon. 
yours could be like accidental heartthrob. You know, that yes, could be well, the whole thing. No. <laughs> I don't think the I'm story a, of Mr. McDreamy. It would be very accidental, yes. <laughs> We're gonna have to move on from that because I'm, I'm blushing a little too much here. It's showing through your makeup. Yeah. Okay, yes. real fast before, just while I, I don't put wear my- makeup. No, no, of course, sorry, sorry. What did I do? Yes. I revealed the secret. Um, just while I put my hair net on, Andrew's already a step ahead of me. Yes. Uh, uh, phytoceramides, just real fast. Phytoceramides, I'll take my hair net off quickly. <laughs> Phytoceramides, it's Mother Nature's natural moisturizer. As I talked about before, the best way to moisturize our skin is to be hydrated internally. That's the best thing because that's the only way moisture actually reaches those tissues. The topical moisturizers we use don't deliver moisture to the tissues we want to moisturize. If anything, perhaps they kind of seal in whatever moisture we have. Phytoceramides, along with things like omega-3 fatty acids, along with things like cholesterol actually, are part of our body's own natural moisturizing system or natural moisture retention system. Because the way our body moisturizes our skin is by delivering the moisture the body has inside, not on the outside, and then holding onto it as best it can. And phytoceramides are the critical molecule involved in our skin's moisture retention system. And mind you, the skin's moisture retention system we think about it in terms of beauty, but its real origins and its real necessity has nothing to do with beauty, it has to do with our survival. Because if we were to go back just not even all that many, just a few hundred years, um, certainly a, a thousand years or so, the most common cause of death would have been lack of food or lack of water. So, of course, human beings require a really intricate system of retaining the moisture we manage to have. And phytoceramides, in terms of that system, are the key molecule. So in terms of moisturization, in terms of beauty, not just moisture retention in terms of survival, phytoceramides are the key molecule. If you've got more questions, definitely go online to our Facebook page. We're gonna head this way. By the way, Andrew, as we walk and talk, uh, Pat also noticed you brushed your hair today. I did, <laughs> I did brush my hair today. Yes, I know I disappointed my mother. I, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm known for walking out on set having not brushed my hair. I'm, uh, I'm sort of a wash and wear kind of person. People uh, don't miss a beat, Andrew. They're yes. watching your everything. Oh, no, they pay attention. I get all sorts of things. You, uh, you should, next time, you should uh, get a manicure or clip your nails or something <laughs> like that. So here's our, our pouching room. But here, this whole long line here, this is the bottling line where all the products we're talking about, their capsules are put in the bottle. And at this end of the line, the bottles are being labeled. At that end of the line, the bottles get, they get out of, sort of out of their, they get arranged. They get on the bottling line, the capsules are dropped in, there are counters that drop in the appropriate amount of capsules, they get sealed, capped, and then they get labeled, and they get boxed, and Amazing. shipped to HSN or shipped to you. So here, this is our room where we make our teas. We have our, the teas that I've drank out on the set. We are, have our mint green tea, which is per virtually perfectly, relate, perfectly rated. Mint green tea, our chamomile tea, our mint tea. Teas are just a wonderful way to increase your hydration and also to get more protective compounds. When I look at those studies that talk about healthy lifestyle habits that are associated with longer life or associated with healthier hearts, healthier brains, certainly green tea consumption. Sure. So tea consumption is a wonderful thing. Uh, moderate cho dark chocolate consumption. There are all sorts of things we could do if our goal is to live longer and be healthier that have nothing to do with supplementation but have everything to do with the lifestyle decisions. Right. As we walk here, this is a brand new machine that this is a big reveal, everybody. I'm this, just going to show you some machine, machines. and pardon, sorry about the noise. This is a machine that will enable us to make a range of products that we've been requested for decades. Obviously, a very technically sophisticated machine. And what we're producing here, if we move to the right, this is a new sweetener that's going to be coming out next year. It's a natural sweetener. It contains no sugar, no carbohydrate. All of the high intensity sweeteners that you look at the labels that are, that say non-caloric, zero calories, yeah. they all contain sugar. Usually four or five calories of sugar or carbohydrate. Wow. So that's coming out, it's an amazing product. And these are our blenders. 
So whether it's going to be the powder in those sugar packets, whether it's a powder in a capsule, whether it's a, a powder in a container of marine collagen peptides, all of those are going to be blended in one of these blenders. And notice they're all stainless steel, and that's all of our blenders. These are our small blenders. But by our standards, small. By normal standards, not small. Huge. So we have 10 cubic feet. We have 30 cubic feet. We have 75 cubic feet. And then as we wrap around the back here, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a circle. Okay. And this corridor, this corridor connects the warehouse where products exit to go to HSN. Okay. That corridor is where materials enter to enter production. And there's two floors of production here. As I say, it's like a sandwich. Yeah. And the two pieces of bread are the warehouses. Right. And the meat is where the work is done. And so here, we have two other very large blenders here. And we could take a peek in here. As you can see, these are all containers. And a lot of these very large containers um, are all going to be destined to, for secure meal replacement in wow. January. For the today's special. So to give you a sense, it's now December 10th. Yep. It's December 10th. That today's special is in six weeks. Yep. The containers are here. You're ready. But, but again, we haven't made the product yet. Right. So to give you a sense, and there's more containers here. So those containers, they're a lot of air. They take a lot of space. But it gives you an idea of how we do everything just in time. So everything is incredibly fresh, especially with things like Secure, where you want that fresh flavor. Yeah. So this is our 300 cubic foot blender, as it's referred to here. It is a beast of a blender. It's, a it's enormous. Huge. Thousands and thousands of pounds of material can be blended at one time. This portion of the blender, um, that is what aligns up top, and that's how we fill the blender where everything is weighed and, and technically established as yeah. being the proper components. And then it is emptied from the other side, down here, and that's a scale. All of the blenders, their scales built in the floor, so we account for every milligram, every gram of material in terms of production, and everything is documented and records kept of every step of production along the way. We behave as though we're making pharmaceuticals here. In fact, these same exact blenders, these stainless steel blenders, if you were at a major pharmaceutical company, uh, these are the types of blenders you'd see if it was a really high quality right, company. Right. And again, as you notice, we, we like to use newer stainless steel equipment, more reliable and produces a better product for you. And as you see here, this is our bottling line we use for powders, okay. like secure meal replacement, like marine collagen peptides, or even our Choco Nuvo. We'll feel our Choco Nuvo here. Those other bottling lines you saw out in the other area where we started, yeah. those are putting capsules into bottles. So different bottling lines have different fill applications. So when you, when you look at the facility, it all makes sense. That's where things enter, that warehouse back behind us there. Yeah. And this is all the production. And it's probably, I'd say it's about 100 yards wide. Wow. And so this is a, our cool storage here, which is full of Choco Nuvo. It's not going to be full of Choco Nuvo for very not long. For long. Um, but already you can see the, the back part of the, the warehouse here um, because of our Today Special yesterday. But this basically becomes empty of Choco Nuvo every year around April. Wow. Because we make Choco Nuvo go away during the summer, chocolate melts. Especially our chocolate is so creamy, it truly melts. It's a shipping challenge. So, so even if you missed out on our Today Special in Choco Nuvo, we still have Choco Nuvo available at, I think, event special pricing. Yes, yes we do. This is, this is the kind of capsule machine that I used to run. The memories. Um, 35 to 40 years ago. Wow. Um, and it, and it's, these are called rings. And the rings have two parts. And this is the other half of the rings here. And these two parts go together. So you put these two sets of rings together, and, and that's where the capsules go here. So here are the two rings together, fit perfectly together. Yeah. So the capsules come down and fill the slots here. And then you move the rings over to here, you'll open them up, you'll move the rings over to here, and that half of the ring will be filled with powder. And then you put the rings back together at the closing station here and yeah. you eject the capsules. It's been so long since I've done this, but the, the machine is, it might look like it's low technology, but it's actually 
incredibly elegantly simple. Capsules go here, you separate the rings, it opens and separates the two halves of the capsule. You fill half the capsule with powder. Right. This hopper shifts over and puts the powder, and depending on the auger right. pressure and speed, it puts a certain amount of powder in. You put the two halves of rings together. There's little, here I can show you. There's little pins here. Those little pins are what push against each of the individual capsules and close them back up. See them so the little capsules, the heads of the capsules sit on there. So it's it's an incredibly elegantly simple process. And you self-taught in terms of how oh, to I had use the, it? The, the people who make the machine had to teach me how to use it. Well, but that's but it's not that complicated, and they're incredibly reliable. And this whole entire hallway is dedicated to encapsulation. Wow. We have multiple rooms where we're just running capsule machines that are doing healthy hair, skin, and nails, glucosamine, chondroitin, all our different powder capsules. Upstairs, we do all our soft gels, our omega-3s, our PC liver and brain, because that's not only a role of producing the gelatin, filling it with liquid, but then slowly drying and curing it, because you can't put the capsules in. If they're not dried, they end up sticking to one another. Right. And you don't want to dry them in high heat, because that then affects the activity of the ingredients. So you want to dry them slowly, patiently. This is basically a, a cleanup area here. Again, everything's stainless. There are individual rooms where you, you blow off and you, you clean equipment. Right. So this is just segregated for kind of the dirty work where we, because between every product, we totally break down a machine and clean it. So there's no, even though there's no drugs or anything's yeah, here, yeah. we don't want any cross-contamination, so we clean everything. And Andrew, this might sound like a silly question, but all of this is powered by the sun. Everything. Everything. It always has been. It's just amazing. Since day one. It's amazing. So it's, it's a, it can be done, and it can be done in this day and age, it could actually be done quite economically. Right. It's, it's a good decision. I always say, mine is a small company. Imagine if large companies became energy efficient as we are. It's just, you don't have to believe in climate change. It's just an assault on our planet when we burn a tremendous amount. Just imagine if every day you had a, a wood burning oven in your house yeah. that was heating your house. Clearly, that's not a good environment inside your house. That's effectively what we do as a society. When technology has given us a multitude of options from solar power to wind power to tidal power to geothermal power, there's all sorts of, we're probably 50 years behind where we ought to be. Right. It's funny, I was looking for the dogs. <laughs> but the, 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 do the dogs are not here for this show. So, but there's all sorts of alternatives out there. And, and again, it has nothing to do with climate change. It just has to do with being cleaner and more responsible. And, and I think uh, any, any company in any industry can choose to do their job um, <laughs> dirty or clean. We've chosen to do it clean. It pays for itself though, doesn't it? Like after um, the initial it, investment? It does. In initially it did not, but now it does. Right. And, and, it, and it's always something that I, because I'm someone who I, uh, I love to, I love to mountain bike, I love to run trails, I love the outdoors, I love nature. And, and there was a saying I encountered a long time ago, and it's, uh, apparently I believe its origins are a Native American saying, and, and I think it's a saying that doesn't just apply when you go out into nature, which is where I heard it applied, but that the only thing they say when you go out into nature is the only thing you should leave behind are footprints. There you go. And the only thing you should take away are memories. Right. So, so I think as a company, as an industry, um, we hopefully do the same thing. That we're not a burden to the planet, that all we do is provide good memories and positive experiences to everyone who uses our products. And I, I always appreciate that opportunity to go around with Andrew and show you what this is all about. Because, you know, as we are every day bombarded with adverts and commercials and lots of amazing things, it's amazing to see the true, not only genuine passion that Andrew has, but you've always wanted to go about things the right way. Well, not the easiest way, also, but the right way. I think it was Ralph Waldo Emerson who said, probably misquoted, he said the equivalent, something like there's, there's only one right way to do everything. 
and, and maybe there's not only one right way, but there is a right way. And, and I think as a, as a business, as a company, it, it's correct to be more responsible, yeah. whether it's being environmentally responsible, yeah. whether it's being socially responsible, we haven't spoken about it, but for every bottle of my products you get, we donate three 30-day supplies of prenatal vitamins. Yeah. I think we've donated a couple of billion prenatal vitamins in the, the whatever the seven or eight years we've been doing this. So I think there's always a more responsible way to do everything. And since the, the entire purpose, goal, the basis, or if Muriel was here in French, we'd say the raison d'être, the reason for being of my company, um, is, is health and wellness and well-being. It should go without saying that we do engage in those things. So, so I'm just being consistent with the quality of our products and, and the goal of our company. And, and it's something that I've always done since day one and something that we'll always continue to do because it's important, I think, to be a, a responsible citizen. I think you expect that from us. Given the quality of our products, it would be hypocritical if we had a, a company that wasn't environmentally responsible and socially responsible, so we are. And I feel, you know, I know again, as kind of sappy as this may sound, I feel proud to help support something that really is doing so much. And if you take vitamins of any sort or any kind, all we're asking you is try Andrews or compare Andrews, because Andrews are full of none of the plus, bad stuff. Plus, we, we have, and you know, when you go to stores, you can't get, and right now you'll get a money back guarantee until sure. January 31st, so you really can try them. And if you don't like them, you get to send them back. And, and the case with most supplements that you see, I think the majority of supplements sold in America, certainly that are sold in, in supermarkets, and I think the largest brands in America now are the brands that have the, the supermarket's name on them, whether it's going to be uh, Walmart's brand or Costco's brand or Target's brand, whoever it might be. And obviously, they're not vitamin manufacturers. So what do they do? They go out to co-packers, contract manufacturers. They go out to guys and say, um, give us a bid for making this multivitamin or for this vitamin C or this omega-3. And there's no technical scientific person that I'm aware of at most of these large retailers that are making a determination the way we would here, that we make everything here. We have a laboratory that assays every single material before it gets anywhere near production. We assay the product during production. We assay the product after production. So it's an entirely different pr approach when the product you're getting is coming from the company that's actually making it. And, and I think that's why, that's why our products are so different. That's why they're so highly reviewed. That's why, unlike the typical products you see out in the supermarkets, those are all tablets. Tablets are cheap to make, they're hard to swallow, they're hard on your stomach, they're not a good experience. We make products that, because we're so directly connected to you, I can't escape your reviews. If I turned my products into tablets, I could guarantee oh. that our number of our reviews, instead of being 4.6 or 4.7 star average, would probably be between three and three and a half. Yeah. Even if everything else was equal. If we added, if we had the additives necessary to make tablets and, and created those tablets. So everything about what we do is with an eye toward making a product that not only delivers you benefits, but also doesn't come with all the unpleasant experiences that a typical nutritional supplement. And, and also, typical supplement companies have hundreds and hundreds or thousands of products. We do not. We don't focus on products unless they're serious science. Even though a product might be popular and sell, if it doesn't have serious science, we'd rather do without those sales. And, and that hap there have been so many ingredients over the years that we wouldn't go near with a 10-foot pole, as they say, whether it was ephedra or uh, red raspberry ketone, things like that, that we just, if there's no science and there's no benefit, we won't make it no matter how popular it might be. So just a very different approach. We want to let you know Cranberry is available at the very special pricing. All of the pricing will expire tonight. Don't forget at midnight. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to walk over this way and kind of gear up for our next item because we've got two monthly specials. Maybe you didn't see these over the past couple days, but two monthly specials, and this is the opportunity. If you order our monthly special, or specials in the larger size, to get that very 
very important new launch for Andrew Soleil, his brand new sunscreen. Yeah, he's done a sunscreen, the best in the world. Uh, if you order the larger sizes, you will be one of the first in the world to get Soleil. Andrew, two, two um, monthly specials. It's right. vitamin K2, calcium, of course. Um, where should we start? Well, they, they, they both go hand in hand. Let's start with vitamin K2, okay. MK7. Um, our Cal Mag is easy to understand. Um, most folks have been recommended to take a calcium supplement, and, and that applies to both men and women as we get older. We need to support a healthy skeleton, but e even if you're someone who, as I do, endeavors to get the calcium you need from your diet, the moment you're taking in calcium and, and you're maintaining that substantial reservoir of calcium in your bones, because not only is calcium vital to the strength and integrity of your bones, your bones play a role as being the calcium reservoir for the rest of your body because all of your cells must have calcium in them to do what they do. Calcium is a normal electrolyte present in all of our cells. And the reservoir of calcium that supplies our entire body is our bones. That's why if we run short of calcium, guess what? Our body needs it, and where does it take it from? It takes it from our bones, and that can cause issues in terms of the strength and integrity of our bones. Osteopenia, osteoporosis. So vitamin K2, MK7. That's the less straightforward of the two here. Vitamin K2, MK7. It has nothing to do, as I said earlier, with vitamin K1. They have some similarities structurally, biochemically. They have very few or no similarities in terms of their role in your body. Vitamin K1 is all about blood clotting. That's why we had the question earlier about green vegetables taking certain blood thinners. Mm. The older school blood thinners like Coumadin, Warfarin, those blood thinners, you had to be conscious of your green leafy vegetable intake because of the vitamin K1 content. But there was always a discussion that if you supplemented vitamin K1 and used those blood thinners, then you didn't have to worry about the, the intake in your green leafy vegetables because you established a baseline that the green leafy vegetables wouldn't necessarily impact. That whole discussion in scientific areas kind of um, falling by the wayside because there's a newer class of blood thinners. Um, that's it, I think one of them is Xeralta. And they, they affect the clotting mechanism in a more direct, more specific fashion, and therefore there's no issues with vitamin K1 intake with those blood thinners. Um, but to, to leave the area of blood thinning because vitamin K1, in German, the word for coagulation, blood coagulation, it's spelled with a K. So when they discovered the role of vitamin K1 probably 100 years ago, coagulation spelled with a K, they did that in Germany. Okay, we'll call it vitamin K1 for coagulation with a K. Vitamin K2, MK7 has nothing to do with coagulation, blood coagulation, has everything to do with really the administration of calcium in our body, the distribution of calcium within our body. I have often used the analogy, it's kind of like a traffic cop for calcium within our body. That the, the way our body utilizes and moves calcium, it's fairly complex, but vitamin K2, MK7's role, simplifying it, is to ensure that calcium stays where it ought to stay, stimulating the process in our bones that utilizes and retains the calcium in our bones and discourages the calcium from depositing itself in tissues where we don't want it, like our blood vessels, our arteries, where calcification is undesirable because calcification in our blood vessels, in our arteries, reduces the resiliency, the flexibility of those blood vessels, those arteries, and as I've often said, one of the most important signs of youthfulness and health and vitality is the flexibility and the resiliency of our arteries. As, as many a cardiologist has probably said, you're only as old as your arteries. So some would say you're only as old as your joints, sure. or you're only as old as your skin. Um, but I think probably more intelligent would say you're only as old as the health, flexibility, and resiliency of your arteries. And vitamin K2, MK7, that is a vitamin. You won't find it in typical multivitamins because of the entire vitamin K issue, but that's why it's become right up there with CoQ10. I say after you lay the foundation of a great multivitamin, multimineral, things to add really become vitamin K2, MK7, and CoQ10. Andrew, a, a lady that's been watching you for many, many years and has many of your products, Cindy, she's wondering why there's vitamin K1 included in your vitamin K2, MK7 product. We originally made the formula, it's very interesting, we originally made the formula with a little bit of vitamin K1 because 
we thought many folks taking the vitamin K2, MK7 initially, they think, okay, this is also gonna cover me for vitamin K1. Ah. So we wanted to make sure that it, say, it wasn't misleading. But what we've noticed in the last, say, six or seven years of making this, the level of sophistication, understanding the difference between vitamin K1 and vitamin K2 is such that if someone really needed to supplement K1, they'll separately supplement K1. So what we're going to be doing in the future, and that's why it's a fantastic question, we're going to be removing the K1 okay. from our vitamin K2, MK7, yeah. and if someone wants K1, they can get it separately. Fabulous. Because most people only want the K2, MK7, they're not concerned about the clotting issue with K1, so we're changing the formula in response. It just shows how products evolve. And so the evolution of this product is to in the future remove the K1 because there's no longer confusion about the role of the two. Just a reminder, this is the, the two monthly specials are the only two items which will have that pricing continue through the right. end of the month. Yes. Um, we are gonna move on to calcium, obviously, and talk a little bit about that. We spent time here yesterday as well, and Andrew, a look, look, ultimately, your products are different to others on the market. Well, what can we expect here? The, the, simple, the, the simple and most straightforward difference of our calcium product I could show you right here is that virtually all calcium magnesium products you'll see on the market are tablets. Right. Some of them you'll see in a powder. Actually, there, there's a product in the market that's sort of a magnesium citrate product that's kind of a, an effervescent product. Um, it's, it's great, it's, I think it's called Calm or something like that. Okay. We're going to, it's, it's great for calming, relaxation at night, especially uh, I'd like to, we're playing with adding our nighttime ingredients to it. Very good. So you get your magnesium at night and things, but it's, so what my point was, the best way to deliver calcium or magnesium, these minerals that are actually metals, and because they're minerals and metals, they ch have challenge in, in terms of solubility. The best way to deliver them is as a powder either as a powder that you'll mix with, with a fluid that you consume or an ultra-fine powder that's in a capsule that that capsule liberates that powder within moments of your swallowing it. So it de delivers beneficial ingredients because the one thing that so many people have, have communicated to us in terms of a typical calcium supplement, hard to swallow, and stomach upset. Right. Um, that is not something you'll experience with this product. In fact, it exerts a little bit of a buffering effect. So this is going to be more stomach soothing and stomach settling. So that's the most dramatic thing. It's designed to be soluble and bioavailable, which is a challenge with, with typical calcium products. But more than anything, it's designed to be easy, sw easy to swallow because even the best calcium or magnesium sources put in a tablet are going to be challenging to swallow, challenging to digest, and challenging in terms of stomach upset. We are, um, okay, two quick things. Our producer, Steve, just reminded me. Right. Because we get lost in, in, in all these wonderful products that we're offering and airing. If you're ordering today, you get the best pricing, obviously, in terms of the free shipping with the six flex pay. Everything that's ordered today as well is still a part of our extended return policy, and that's really important. Like with Healthy Hair, Skin and Nails, we want you to give it well, a go. You'll have it for at least probably, I'd say, six weeks, seven weeks, yeah. something like that. So, uh, and all of the products, and most of the products, the minute you get them home, you could see the difference. You see the nature of the dosage form. They're small capsules, they're easy to swallow. So right away, you know your experience will be different. Something like healthy hair, skin, and nails, that's something that takes usually a couple of weeks. But it's great this time of year, so you're not limited to 30 days, which is an abundance of time with these products. You'll have a full six or seven weeks to try it. We're going to head over to our next item, one that... Which, just quickly, I could yes, show the, yes. the, the differences of the vitamin K2. I didn't know we had this chart here. As I said, vitamin K2 and vitamin K1, the one thing they have in, in common is a little bit uh, molecularly, and, and what they have similar is the head of the molecule. Okay. But the chain that follows it, that really determines the role it plays in the body, they couldn't be more different. And that's why vitamin K1 plays one role, vitamin K2 another role. The only reason they share a name is because they share a basic component of their structure. But their activity in the body couldn't be more different. It, it goes back to what Andrew, you've always said, what you care most about in these shows is information giving our customers and viewers the information they need to make the right and best decisions. Well, there's, and, and the reason why I do, is, is there's, there's a rather wide body of research that says, and it's probably one of the most important things, if you want to be healthier, the most important thing you do 
educate yourself and inform yourself because better decisions follow. Um, ignorance, they often say ignorance is bliss. Not really. You know, ignorance ends up, the byproduct of ignorance is us making less than informed, less than intelligent, less than healthy decisions. So the more we learn, the more we kind of stimulate that curiosity. Um, and especially, as they always say, the internet is a two-edged sword. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you don't. Um, but the one thing nice about the internet, you sometimes have to filter the content you read because there's some crazy stuff there. But if you go to reliable scientific sources, you could find some fascinating information. And that's why I always encourage folks to use my shows as a start of your process. It doesn't mean you have to buy everything I talk about or buy anything I talk about. The most important thing I always say you get is information. And then what we do with information, hopefully, is empower ourselves to make better decisions. That's the key. I got some news through about 60 seconds ago, which is pretty big. Algal, the new product from Andrew Lessman, we are going to feature it in this hour. Yes. For a few brief moments, but Very, we'll do it. We'll, we'll talk about both our Max Essential Omega-3 and our Algal DHA, our plant-based Omega-3. So our Max Essential Omega-3 mm -hmm. comes from fish, our, our algal DHA comes from algae, it's plant-based, and some folks like plant-based, prefer it over fish. Our fish omega-3 is the best fish omega-3 in the world. Our algal DHA is now the, the best, best plant-based omega-3 in the world. Both available, we'll talk about that in a moment. Well, perhaps the one supplement that I've started to take which has changed so much for me, or perhaps made the biggest impact in my life is Andrew's CoQ10. If we could spend an hour on just this one product alone, I'd be very happy. Because this is one, beyond the reviews, and we're, we're a 4.7 star rating, thousands of reviews, this is a product quite simply unlike any other. If you've been curious about CoQ10, I'd love for you to hear what Andrew has to say. This can change your life, literally change your life, the way you feel. Well, how we feel uh, are the abundance of energy we have right. really determines how we move through the world. And, and I know that even when I'm feeling less energetic, I'll still get to the gym and I'll still tend to exercise, but then it requires discipline. It requires much more effort. When, when we have more abundant energy, life just sort of flows. It's, it's more effortless. And I think so many of us, as we age, and aging, it's kind of an unpleasant process. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I'm sure we all wish we could just pick an age and just stay Stop. there. Yeah, but it, it's sort of, what is it? You, you wake up each morning as you get older and like, what's, what physical issue is it going to be today? <laughs> what part of my body is going to remind me it exists today? But I think one of the most glaring things we notice as we get older, but uh, most of the times we just expect it goes with the territory, is, is we don't have the same abundance of energy. We don't, and with it can sometimes go our enthusiasm, our sort of zest for, for living. And, and if we want to boil it down to a biochemical chemical, kind of a molecular level, which is sort of weird. I, I was talking about this the other day, that when I really think about the, the, the biochemistry that fuels our existence, and we think of our existence as human beings and the richness of our interactions and sort of the history of our societies, and, and then we think about the fact that all of us are just a few hundred trillion cells, mm. all of those cells only exist and only exist because of the energy they generate, and each cell must generate its own energy. And they generate that energy just by transporting electrons. So they basically take fuel molecules, and as they break down those molecules, the electrical potential in those chemical bonds are transferred to other molecules, and those transport, or that movement of electrons, potentiated by CoQ10, is the energy we experience, is the existence we all le live, whether we go back in history and think of you know, famous people in history, whether it's Abraham Lincoln or Napoleon Bonaparte or Julius yeah. Caesar, whoever it might be, they all shared the exact same biochemistry with you and me, the exact same issues as they aged with you and me, and, and it's all basically boiling down to how well we can move electrons in the hundreds of trillions of cells in our body. And that movement of electrons uh, is basically energy we experience on a cellular level mm -hmm. that then fuels our tissues and, and organs and, and systems, and, and here we are, existing. But as we age, that existence changes. Um, and, and so many of the products I make are all about 
changing how we experience that aging process and to do it more gracefully. Uh, we were talking about before that the more informed we are, the more we potentiate a healthier existence right. because a healthier existence is based upon healthier decisions. And I think that a byproduct of my education hasn't been just the creation of this company. It's, it's been allowing me to be healthier. I never would have dreamed that the age I am today I would still be running and mountain biking the same trails I ran and mountain biked 45 years ago. And you do. So, um, so it's, I never would have dreamt that, but I think with good decisions, uh, there's no guarantees in life, but with good decisions generally comes about better outcomes. And, and I look at CoQ10 as being about as simple and straightforward and fundamental a decision. Again, it doesn't have to be mine. We've been making CoQ10 for longer than anyone, 34 years, it'll be 35 years next year, long before anyone heard about it, thought about it, and our CoQ10 delivers in a fashion that makes it a, a thousands of reviews and again, a virtually perfectly reviewed product. I learned from Andrew that with perhaps not great diet, with stress, levels of CoQ10, it depletes in your body and this is the finest form, the finest source of it. You heard what Andrew just said. He basically innovated this many, many years ago. So if you put Andrew's CoQ10 against any CoQ10 product out there, I think you'll find it's amazing. I'm gonna break the rules just for one second. I wanna show you the price on this. I do, I have to, because this is the, 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 the deal expires at midnight, uh, the flex pay expires at midnight, and I am so passionate about the difference that this can make in your life. Look, I would recommend you go for the 120 or 240, because I think when you start to feel the difference it makes in your life, which, you'll not want to stop. Which, by the way, uh, when, when we talked about CoQ10 in the 1980s, rule of thumb, back then it was 30 milligrams, 60 milligrams, 90 milligrams. So rule of thumb, a 90 milligram capsule would be about a dollar. Right. So basically a little over a dollar for 100 milligrams, meaning so back in the 1980s, a little over 200, milli 200 milligram capsule here would be a little over $2. And so 240 capsules back at that time would be over $500. Wow. So, um, <laughs> so this is another example of a product that has not become a little bit more affordable, but a lot more affordable. I would imagine a, a, a 360 or a 240 count of a 30 milligram CoQ10 was more expensive than the 200 milligram of the same quantity today. So it's one of those examples that not only has the product gotten better, but it's gotten a tremendous amount more affordable. It, this used to be by far and away one of the most expensive supplements. The largest size initially we offered because it was so expensive was a 90 capsule supply. To think that we, of a 90 capsule of 30 milligrams, right. to think that we now have a 240 capsule uh, supply of 200 milligrams. Um, and instead of costing a few dollars a dose, it costs pennies a dose, or pennies per day, is, is incredible. And you don't need to take multiple capsules, unless your doctor, your cardiologist told you you need to, one capsule, 200 milligrams, is going to be perfect. Well, we're talking about perhaps signs of aging. Our next item on our Monday Night Show special edition, and for those just tuning in, this is not a green screen, we are really here. These are not paid actors and actresses, they are genuine people. I'm, I'm not sure if people know what a green screen is. I'm not sure if everybody you want to knows explain, what a green a screen point. is. No, but you could be in a studio, and it used to be behind. It used to be a blue screen yeah. or a green screen. And I know because if I'd wear a blue shirt with a blue screen, <laughs> you'd see a head. Because <laughs> what what happens? You could then, if you do if you do a broadcast in front of a green screen, and they they do this a lot in special effects in movies, where they then take the actors and they can put them wherever they want. Right. So if we were standing in front of a green screen, you could have a beautiful. Hawaii beach sunset behind us, and you wouldn't know that we weren't on the beach in Hawaii. You'd never know. You could take that video image and place it behind us, and the green screen basically drops out, and there we are. So That is not this. So that's not a green screen. I digress here. So <laughs> what we are, we're in, a, we're in a studio we built on our factory floor because our first broadcast we did here, we used to have to break down the entire factory to do it on the floor, mm -hmm. and we'd go out of production for almost a week. And because, and we were gonna stop doing them because it was so disruptive, doing these broadcasts from the factory. But we got so much feedback that this was so important to feeling good about the products and understanding what we do, that we actually built this little glass in, we call it like a fishbowl. So it's right on the studio floor. The dogs can come here because it has its own independent air supply and everything like that, separate entrance. So it's, it's so you get a sense of what we do. And as I say, I'm, I'm 
proud of what we have here and what we've done to make the best products in the world. And it's an opportunity for you to feel confident. So hopefully your confidence meets my pride in, in what we've accomplished in terms of creating an environment that can show you how uniquely we go about producing products. And what we also have in this building, we also have full laboratory facilities to test everything we create before, during, and after production. We also have a full customer care center so that we could answer any of the technical questions. If your doctor has a technical question, it will go in, if we don't have an answer, that answer will come to me, that question will come to me. I'll provide the answer. So we really want to make sure that every step of the way, we are unlike the typical company out there. I mean, nowadays, I know sometimes when you shop on the internet, and what's great, it's, it's not that way with HSN, it's not that way with QVC. You could call a number and you can get a human being to talk to. Yeah. Same at my company, that in, in this digital age, yes, maybe you can buy things cheap different places uh, online, but if you have an issue or a problem, you're on your own. So we make sure that your experience from start to finish, we're, we'll do whatever you need, hold your hand throughout every step of the way. As I said, even talk to your doctor if you'd like us to. Well, talking of holding hands, it's, um, it's important that we really, really do what we can to help support our eyes healthy vision. We talked a little bit earlier about the challenges of modern day technology and everybody's on their phones and their tablets. We talk about obviously our eyes just as we get older, they're not as strong as they used to be. And it, it's something I've, I've been acutely aware of because the, the lights in the studio, and these are mostly LED lights, it's part of the reason this blue shirt looks really great yeah. on your TV at home is because there's a significant amount of blue light in these monitor, in these lights here. Right. So that the blue light in the studio, the blue light on our devices, that's high energy radiation. That's not the best thing for our eyes. So it, it's something that beyond sunlight, which also sunlight is life giving, but uh, it giveth and taketh away. But sunlight, that radiation is also, especially UV radiation, high energy radiation damaging to our skin, damaging to the tissues of our eyes. But not only is this product about protecting your eyes from blue light and UV radiation, but it's all about uh, optimizing the quality of your vision today. When I first introduced this product, all we talked about was long-term protection with lutein and zeaxanthin. And, and by the way, we've been making an eye formula for over 30 years. Again, that's another recent thing that most companies have discovered. We introduced lutein and zeaxanthin decades ago. Another recent thing that companies have discovered. So our product delivers these these retinal pigments, these optical pigments that are not only essential for protecting your eye from high energy radiation, but also a part of the visual system. So sharper vision, better vision, it relies on lutein and zeaxanthin. Also protecting your eye from high energy radiation relies on lutein and zeaxanthin. Also we provide the components to support and promote healthy night vision, the anthocyanins for their visual purple regeneration, that pigment in your eye. So it's, it's as comprehensive an eye product as you'll find. It's also another product that if you want to get validation, the reviews are almost yes. perfect. And something I have to say, we don't, and I'm constantly asked this question when people see me, they say, are those really the real reviews? You must edit those reviews. You must remove the bad reviews. We take out nothing. I mean, if we've probably removed five reviews in the last five years, that's a lot. It would only be because they had some inappropriate content in them. It's because some people can post crazy Mr. things. McDreamy, that kind of thing. Yes. No, but that's fine. <laughs> I can live with that. But no, so, but we, to be just not, not kidding around, we basically don't touch those reviews. And that's because we want the reviews to be there in all their glory, all their integrity. Yes, there are bad reviews but typical products of mine, 20 good reviews for every bad review, 95% positive reviews. And Andrew, to that end, I mean, because we've kind of done a couple products that are, I would say, in the Andrew Lesman Hall of Fame. I mean, Ultimate Eye Support is an, a true winner every single time because of what people say. Dare I even go so far as to say, the reviews on this product are perhaps some of the most emotional that I've well, ever read? I would say this and uh, circulation vein support yes. because it deals with uh, two issues that 
that really can affect the quality of our life, the quality of our experience. And, and this is a product that when, when you read the reviews, they're, they're compelling. And, but the science is what has really driven this product. I've been making this product, um, initially just called iSupport, for about 35 years. Originally, it was the basics. Mm -hmm. And I'm dating myself now, 35 years, that um, vi basically vitamin A, C, and E and delivered in their best form, but that was the start. And, and then from there, lutein, and then eventually zeaxanthin, and then the anthocyanin containing berries, but all of those changes started happening about 20 years ago. Um, so it's like all of my products, because I've been doing this so long, they've been a gradual evolution. With this product, lutein and zeaxanthin are among the two most expensive ingredients in all of my formulas by, by far, thousands of dollars a kilogram. Uh, for active material. So they're extremely expensive, but the price on this, as this product has evolved, has basically stayed the same Amazing. for the last 15 or 20 years. If there's anything in your cart, including Ultima Eye Support, make sure you check out before midnight Eastern time. And, and Ultimate Eye, it's one of those things, um, we, we don't want to be caught saying, you know, if I knew I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care right, of myself. Right, right. And there are certain ingredients that really do relate to how well our body systems are going to age. And certainly lutein and zeaxanthin, the omega-3s that lutein and zeaxanthin partner with in our eye and our brain, because actually lutein and zeaxanthin, it's been shown in numerous studies recently that those of us who have the highest levels of lutein and zeaxanthin in our brain, concentrated in our brain, have brains that age better. Uh -huh. So lutein and zeaxanthin are not just concentrated in the retina, in the macular region of our retina, but our eye is really a specialized version portion of our brain. Uh, and again, our brain, lutein and zeaxanthin, are concentrated, protective compounds concentrated there as well. We have some information and some news, and I'd like to kind of bring everybody back about 24 hours ago or so. We were in this studio, actually it was Andrew with Shannon. Uh, and Andrew launched a brand new product that has been a long time in the making. It's yes. called Algal. Uh, one of the things that, um, by the way, it sold out. We had a few more yesterday. Yes. Uh, I believe they sold out. One of the things that I appreciate is how proactive Andrew and his team are. If you missed out on Algal, I have information that we have it available right now. Mm. Andrew, what is this? And what, what this is, it's a perfect way to sort of spike your max essential omega-3 with extra DHA. Because I still take the max essential omega-3 as my foundational omega-3 product. But we wanted to make uh, an algae, a plant-based omega-3. A lot of folks wanted a plant-based omega-3 product. They've been asking me for one for about 30 years because I've been making a fish oil product for over 30 years. But I, I looked at the market, I looked at the, the large suppliers of algae-based DH, DHA. None of them met my standards in terms of the, the nature of how they processed, whether it was non-GMO or not, um, the, the flavor or taste, until recently. And now we have a plant-based omega-3, 100% pure DHA, which is the most important of the two. When I'll talk about our max essential omega-3 in a moment, our max essential omega-3, it's difficult. The standard balance is mostly EPA and a little bit of DHA. Even though in nature it's the other way around, it's about 60-40 DHA EPA, which is what our max essential omega-3 is. It really mirrors a more natural balance. This product I'm talking about here is 100% DHA from algae. So it's not from fish, it's from a plant. And, and it has no fishy aftertaste whatsoever, no repeat, nothing that's going to upset your stomach. It's, it's a remarkable ingredient that actually comes from, it comes from just uh, up north. It comes from Canada. It comes from a unique region, area in Canada, Nova Scotia in the northeast of Canada to the northeast of Maine in the US. Um, there's an area there called the Bay of Fundy. It's kind of a narrow little bay and sure. the nature of the Bay of Fundy, it has the greatest tidal differences. I mean, we sometimes, in, in say, all, all over the country, we see tidal differences that could be a few feet, but we don't see tidal differences that are 50 feet. And that's what you see in the Bay of Fundy. They have pictures where you can see a boat that's sort of lying on the ground, and then a few hours later, it's, it's 
up in the water. So, but that challenging environment, challenging for the organisms that need to survive there, there's a, a marine algae that's local to that area that is basically our factory for producing DHA. It's done without harsh chemicals or solvents. It's, it's done in a fashion that's non-GMO because a lot of the algae that produces DHA, the algal DHA, it's gen genetically modified algae. This is not genetically modified algae. So again, it's a perfect, perfect partner with our max essential omega-3. If you want to get some extra DHA for your eye, extra mm -hmm. DHA for your brain, and you want it to be plant-based, then here you go. And, and also, just so everyone knows, when it comes to fish oil, where do fish get their omega-3s? Fish don't technically manufacture their omega-3. Fish get their omega-3 from microalgae. So we're going directly to the source with this product. We're cutting out the middleman. And yes, algal DHA, when I was going to introduce it about 20 plus years ago, would have been five, 10 times more expensive than standard omega-3. What we've managed to achieve with this product, you're getting 250 milligrams of DHA, and it's the same price as our 500 milligrams of fish oil. So it's now in the ballpark, and that's thanks to the folks up in Canada who make this product for us. It, it really is this ingredient for us. It's become an affordable product for the first time, and it's a quality of algal oil that finally meets my standards for the first time. We are, with everybody placing orders, about 1,500 now available for shipment. If you go online at hsn.com, that's your fastest way to get in, don't forget. Algal has finally arrived. I'm thrilled that we could spend even just a couple of moments on it. Um, it's brilliant. I mean, a plant-based source of nature's most important omega-3 fat. DHA. Thank you for all of your orders. If you're shopping tonight, six flex pay on everything. For the first time I've ever known it, six flex on all of Andrew's products. So certainly take advantage of that. We are also, I believe, mentioning Andrew, your the classic omega three. Obviously, well, again, world that, famous. And, and that is, I mean, if you look at the science, if you look at the research. Um, it's all about fish oil, not about krill oil. We have a krill oil product. If you insist on krill oil. It's just too expensive, and right. it doesn't deliver. It doesn't deliver high enough lev levels based upon the expense. Um, our max essential omega-3 is fish oil made properly in its natural form with the proper ratio of DHA and EPA. So you're getting both, but 60-40 DHA EPA. Standard products are more two to one EPA DHA, and DHA is the more important. So we were just talking about our algal DHA, which is 100% DHA, 100% of the more important of the two. So this is a, a, it's a wonderful product to add to your max essential omega-3 if you want to enhance the balance of DHA. But the foundational product is our max essential omega-3. It's the most affordable way to get the omega-3s at the levels you want, 500 milligrams, perfect level, 500 milligrams in a single, small, easy to swallow capsule that will never upset your stomach, never be hard to swallow. Uh, wonderful product. I, both the algal DHA or the max essential omega-3, uh, I don't hesitate um, to put a little, you either cut the capsule gently or prick the capsule, and I squeeze it in my dog's food. They, uh, so omega-3s are something that's great for the health of their heart, great for the health of their brain and their eyes, also great for the health of their fur and skin. So omega-3s are essential oils, not just for us, but also for our furry friends. But Max Essential Omega-3, it's like no other omega-3 product in the world. And when I introduced it, it originally I had a standard omega-3 product. Then the, the fishy aftertaste, all those complaints, I made it go away. This is about 35 years ago. And then it took me several years to figure out how to make a fish oil product with no fishy aftertaste. And that's Max Essential Omega-3 that we've had for about 30 years. And I guess now 20 years in the way has been a marine um, omega-3 product, our DHA product, which is now available. So you have both. So if you're someone who insists on a non-fish oil-based omega-3, you now have our algal DHA. But ideally, what I do is my foundation is the max essential omega-3, affordable, never upset stomach, uh, no fishy aftertaste. And then if you choose to enhance the DHA levels, our algal DHA plant-based. Andrew, I forgot to mention there was a lady who had, had, had a message called Amy DeBerg, kind of like Chris DeBerg, you know, Chris, yes. lady in red. Um, Amy says, I work in pharma. This is the first time I've seen the facility. I'm very impressed. Oh. Well, as I've often said, the more you know, 
I think it's easy to appreciate when you see a tour here, but the more you know in terms of uh, a pharmaceutical facility or a manufacturing facility, uh, and as such, we're we're inspected by the FDA. Right. That's that's something very strict. Oh, very very strict. We just had, I think it was, not more than a month ago, we had a, about a one week inspection. Wow. So it wasn't like someone popped in, said hi, and then <laughs> and then and then, right? and then left. No, it's 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 taken very very seriously, and we take it very seriously. We basically inspect ourselves. We have a third party come in mm -hmm. um, and inspect us and do what the FDA would do. So we. We intend to have a facility that is just absolutely flawless, impeccable, and that's why, that's why we're, I mean, we don't do any special cleanup before these shows. It, this is just the way we are normally. It's, um, it's cleaner here than at my house. I might, <laughs> no, literally, that floor, I've never seen a floor so clean. Andrew, I've asked you this before, I forget. Does it run 24 hours a day? From Monday through Thursday, okay. we, we run 24 hours a day. Wow. And then certain times of year, like now or before special events, and that's why what we do, we have a lot of equipment here. And part of the reason we have a lot of equipment here is so we don't manufacture a product for an event for a year. That means the product for that event, some of it's a year old. So what we do is, as I was showing you before, our Today Special in January is about six, seven weeks away. Um, those empty containers are still not filled. Right. So we're going to start producing that product over the next few weeks. We ship it to HSN probably maybe 10 days, two weeks before the shows. So everything is freshly made. So that requires we have more in terms of capacity to manufacture so that we can manufacture everything for today's special within just a few weeks. So everything is fresh. We're not ever se selling old stock because we don't produce stock to be held. We produce everything to be enjoyed immediately. So that's just our nature just, of how we... It's as fresh as it can be. Yep. And so many times you go into I, the store, you don't know how long it's been sat on the shelf. Well, with, with supplements, certainly you can often have no clue whatsoever. What I often say is a lot of the products you're getting from me might be fresher than some of the produce you might be getting in your supermarket. That's it's how, incredible. in fact, with things like the algal DHA, yeah. I'm not sure we've actually encapsulated that yet because it was only a week ago that we received the frozen, we received that frozen algal oil from wow. Canada. Wow. It had to defrost, and I would imagine we probably didn't start encapsulating it if we're lucky, because we have to do certain testing and assays, until maybe Wednesday or Thursday of, of last week, meaning just four or five days ago, and then it gets bottled, and then it will probably be shipped to you in a matter of a week or 10 days. So you'll be getting algal oil that's probably two or three weeks old when you get it. It's just pretty cool. But it's good to know. It makes you feel good. And, uh, and I'll ask you about cinnamon, and maybe you could answer this question at the same time. We've got more questions about uh, sell-by dates or best-before dates, right. uh, how important they are, how rigid we need to be sticking to them. Well, we make sure every one of our products, they all have expiration dates. And one of the most common questions I'm asked, does the product become harmful after its expiration date? Absolutely, positively not, never. Uh, the only thing that those expiration dates relate to is our internal testing. And we, we stress a product to make sure that it's still delivering you adequate potency before the expiration of that time. Of course, all our products should be appropriately stored. You don't want them in a hot area. Certainly our Choco Nouveau shouldn't be at 85 or 90 degrees. It's, it can melt. So we want to make sure that things are in a cupboard or a cabinet or somewhere where it's not in direct sunlight and not just exposed to extreme heat. Um, other than that, the, the expiration date on a product, the shortest expiration date you might see are on things like our Friendly Flora or our Ultimate Friendly Flora that might be as little as 18 months or 24 months. Typically, most of the products are 24 months to 36 months. And, and again, something like calcium magnesium intensive care, uh, that will be fine for years and years, uh, but still, we, we only put a maximum three year. Our Fiber Musil, same thing, that will be fine for years, but we still put a three year expiration. So Andrew, cinnamon and berberine, the two together, they work well, right? Well, they work, they work well separately, they work well together. Cinnamon it was the first product that we introduced in terms of helping to support something we tend to focus on a lot right now because of our body composition and, and issues that have been cropping up, glucose metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, uh, the way our body manages insulin. 
So these are things we focus on. Cinnamon is a natural ingredient that helps to support healthy metabolism in that regard. Berberine does the same. Berberine also um, has a positive impact on our blood lipid metabolism, things like cholesterol, uh, our total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol levels. So berberine is different in terms of how you dose it versus cinnamon. Cinnamon, you take one or two capsules a day, that's all you need to do. Berberine, you're going to have to take one or two capsules per meal three to six capsules daily. Okay. That's why you'll see in a moment when the graphic comes up that berberine is available in much larger sizes for that reason because it will be consumed much more quickly. Three to six capsules per day. Whereas cinnamon, one or two capsules per day. So you look at berberine, up to 720 capsules. And for the quality of berberine we deliver, that's an incredibly efficient price. What, what I've often toyed with doing, um, and I know we were working on it, I don't think we ever put it into finished production, was a blend of berberine with cinnamon. That would be good. Where you would get some cinnamon along with your berberine, so if you're taking three or six capsules of berberine a day, you'd get the equivalent of one or two capsules of cinnamon. So if, uh, we'll sort of, I think we'll resurrect that research because so many people now use both products. Right. Cinnamon is simple, affordable, one or two capsules. Berberine, you also want to make sure you take it with meals um, because berberine can be, it's, it's sort of a spice extract, it's similar to turmeric, but unlike turmeric, which tends to be very mild to the stomach, Stomach, berberine could be a little bit more, um, a little bit more intense for a stomach, so to speak. So I would always take it with meals, one or two capsules at each meal. That's the to get the benefits of berberine. We need to be at at least three to six capsules daily. We're going to head to alpha lipoic acid. I did have a question from Brenda. I promised I'd ask you, Andrew. Um, Brenda is allergic to fish. Can right. she take algal? <laughs> yes, she can. That's yay. That's uh, I, I have a friend who's kind of deathly allergic to fish that if even if fish was on a cutting board at a restaurant and he was having lamb chops or something afterwards and it was on the same cutting board and you couldn't taste anything but he could react very severely so wow. there are a lot of folks who have who do have an allergy to fish and as much as they love to enjoy our fish oil our fish oil has no fishy aftertaste but it still comes from fish but our algal DHA um, does not come from fish, it comes from a plant, a, a primitive unicellular plant that is like a little factory that produces DHA. And that little factory produces the pure DHA, no harsh chemicals, non-GMO, so yes, it's perfect for Brenda. I hope, yeah, I hope that answers your question, Brenda, but I, with confidence, um, they just put a little reminder on the side of the screen that this is the final show. It's been a big weekend for Andrew, his team, the Today Specials, the pricing expires at midnight tonight. Then, then we get six or seven weeks off till, so it will, I wish everybody the, the happiest of holidays and, and um, a little ahead of myself, Merry Christmas and Healthy New Year and all. But we'll be back. We, we have a lot of work to do, but we'll be back with, with great today specials and monthly specials in about six or seven weeks. It, it, but we still have till midnight, whatever, whatever you'd want to get will be at all the event pricing yes. until midnight tonight without That's exception, big. everything. But don't forget, if you're even one minute late, that pricing does expire. What about antioxidants, Andrew? What, what, well, why do I need an antioxidant? Well, antioxidant, I'm, I'm probably guilty of being the person that stimulated the use of that word in the supplement industry. Ah. I've been talking about antioxidants for basically 40 years. I started my company, it's now over 39 years ago. Next year it'll be 40 years. And I always talked about antioxidants. What I, what I prefer to talk about now is, is more protective compounds because the, the antioxidant word is a little bit too almost chemically nonspecific enough. So I prefer the concept that foods deliver us protective compounds and that their protective role isn't just as an antioxidant. Certainly alpha lipoic acid is a very powerful protective compound and much of its role is as an antioxidant, but that is not its exclusive role. It also supports the production of our body's own protective compounds like glutathione peroxidase. So alpha lipoic acid, what makes alpha lipoic acid is that unique is that typically molecules, the positive benefits they exert, they have a choice to make and it was made in advance. Their chemical structure determines whether they have a more lipid or fat friendly structure or a more water or aqueous friendly structure, whether they're hydrophilic, loving water, 
or hydrophobic, hating water, not afraid of water, or lipophilic, lipophilic, which means they love fat. Uh, alpha lipoic acid doesn't have to make that choice because alpha lipoic acid is a very flexible character. Alpha lipoic acid is both water loving and lipid loving. It's lipophilic and hydrophilic. So alpha lipoic acid exerts its protective benefits in both a lipid based environment like membranes or our brain for instance, our liver. Our liver does all that dirty toxic work. Our brain works hard on our behalf. We want to make sure there's adequate protective compounds to protect our brain and alpha lipoic acid is lipophilic so it enjoys and can be in both of those structures. It also can pass through our blood brain barrier. Also alpha lipoic acid can exert beneficial effects. We just got done talking about cinnamon and berberine yep. and alpha lipoic acid is often consumed by those who want to support and protect their body from the potential impact of glucose metabolism and carbohydrate metabolism. Alpha lipoic acid, it's sort of, I always say it's kind of a a second cousin to CoQ10 in terms of its protective role it exerts in our body. So that, I hope, is uh, kind of an insight into why this is a wonderful choice to make. Obviously, when you... It's our highest potency. It's also our original alpha lipoic acid was 200 milligrams. This is 400 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid per capsule. It's also a form of alpha lipoic acid. I should mention this. I, I actually... Next time Miro and I go over to Europe to see your family in France, the company that makes our alpha lipoic acid, it's much, much, multiple times more expensive than the alpha lipoic acid you see in any typical product. It's, it's made in, in Germany, but it basically has no solvents whatsoever. The typical alpha lipoic acid you find in, su in supplements in any store is an alpha lipoic acid that has high levels of solvents. It's a much simpler synthesis to make that product, and it's much less expensive, that raw material, but it has levels of solvent that I find unacceptable. So we're forced, even though at 400 milligrams, our price is exceedingly reasonable, it's still, it's a form of alpha lipoic acid that the typical product, I'd say, 98, 99% of the products on the market don't use the same alpha lipoic acid we use. Well, all good things must come to an end. We have one more before our show is over. Andrew, we, we kind of, we get to this time of the year and we fall in love with the festivities, we fall in love with the food, we kind of wage a war on our body. We, we say, we throw caution to the wind and start eating and eating well, lots of rich things. I, I think, yeah, I think throughout the year, we all struggle with that. And what I always talk about is that um, it's part of our blueprint. Uh, we were designed, our biggest uh, threat to survival was starvation. Mm. So we were designed to be a very effective eating machine. Even if food was scarce, we managed to survive. We found what we could, we ate as much as we could, and we survived. Now we live in a world of abundance where not just food is abundant, but all the wrong food that contains the wrong components is abundant. And, and we do a lot of things that challenge not just our body and obesity and overweight, but challenge our immune system. I was reading a fascinating study the other day that was talking about the escalation of, of childhood allergies, that you, you look at the level of childhood allergies right. in Western society, whether it's peanuts or tree nuts or things like that, that it's escalating dramatically. And what is the root cause of that? And, and what they're theorizing, without getting into too much of the scientific detail, is that we live in this sanitized world. We raise our children in this world wow. where they're exposed to so little that even children that come from, say, the developing world, where they don't have allergies, they, they come to Western society and the incidence goes up. So there's something to be said for maybe a, a little bit of a return to nature and not sterilizing everything we eat and everything we do in a fashion. Certainly, we don't want what they call pathogenic bacteria. We don't want that bacteria that causes disease. But part of being healthy is having a full complement of friendly flora, probiotics. And who knows, this might be part of the whole equation with that sudden increase in, in childhood allergies as you go around the world, Western societies, not just here in America, it's throughout Europe as well. So, but probiotics, these are organisms, if you counted the number of organisms that are in a healthy person's body, they exceed the number of cells 
that that person possesses. So we're talking about hundreds of trillions of friendly flora organisms that are responsible for maintaining our healthy immune, immune system, working hand in hand with our immune system, responsible for healthy digestion, healthy nutrient absorption, regularity. So we can't live well without them, but the way we live and the food we eat, the environments we find ourselves in, the drugs and medicines we take, all of them conspire to undermine the healthy balance and the healthy population of friendly flora in our bodies that our immune system and our digestive system and our well-being depend on. So with this, how many per day again? Did you, was it one uh, a day? With or? this at Ultimate Friendly Flora, one capsule should be plenty. Okay. One capsule, you're talking about 25 billion colony forming units. Amazing. Our standard friendly flora is 5 billion and that's abundant. So 5 billion, 25 million with ultimate friendly flora, one capsule per day should be sufficient. But again, uh, if your doctor recommends you take more for a specific reason, you might be taking antibiotics, things like that, then simply follow your doctor's guidance. This is not a product that if you, if you took too much, it's going to be problematic or harmful. So Andrew, as we kind of come to a close, a new year is upon us, 2019. Well, I know what you're going to do. We have, Adam has in his hands, two products that will be coming next year. One is the Sole sunscreen that the monthly special, today's specials, you'll be getting a small sample of the Sole sunscreen. The Sucrest sweetener, that's our non-sugar, non-artificial sweetener, natural from stevia, but with other, no other sugars in the packet, which most products, even stevia and even artificial sweeteners, they have sugar as a carrier that they don't declare. So that's gonna be coming out. It's remarkable, it's amazing, it's natural, it's non-GMO, of course. <laughs> you will love it. So those are coming out sometime next year, which is very exciting. And what about pet vitamins? Because I got a lot of questions about and, that again. And, and again, because of that packeting machine there, I refused to make a pet vitamin that had additives. Um, why would I make human vitamins? We're unique in the world. Our human vitamins contain no additives. Why would I make pet vitamins with additives? Pets don't like capsules. So I didn't have a capsule to put those pure powders in. So I wanted to create a dosage form so that little packeting machine I showed everyone before will be able to have a glucosamine pro chondroitin product for your pets, you sprinkle it in food. We'll be able to have an eye formula. We'll even have a urinary tract formula or we'll blend certain formulas. You will tell me what you want. We will design it. It will be pure and additive free because I think at least as much as I love my pets, I would never give them a product that was at all any less pure than a product I would take myself. So that's going to be even probiotics, friendly flora for our pets as well. That will all be coming slowly, gradually, next year and the year after. Andrew, like 10 seconds to answer this. I'm a type one diabetic, is the ALA 400 good for me? Well, again, nothing could treat or prevent, treat, cure a specific disease. Specifically, ask, ask a doctor, but alpha-lipoic acid should not be problematic at all if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. If anything, it's going to support your body's systems naturally and show it to your doctor, of course. And perhaps the final um, comment that I'll read out is from Pat, who very simply says, Happy Holidays to Andrew, Muriel, Marcel, Buddy, mm -hmm. uh, and Lincoln, and of course me as well. Thank you for including me yeah. in there, Pat. Andrew, for me, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Adam. It's always, always a pleasure. And by the way, Adam is as, as kind and just a real human being in, in person as he seems on television. It's, it's, it's not fake. And the same thing with Shannon and Colleen. I am, I'm blessed to work with just remarkably wonderful hosts who are wonderful people at a great company, HSN. Oh, so we feel pretty the same lucky. about you. The amazing you. Andrew Lesman from the nice Monday Night Show. Good night, Thanks everybody. Up. Good night. Hey, HSN. Hey, I'm Suzanne Runyon. So what are we going to do together for the next couple hours? We're going to get... You're laughing, Aaron, already. He's like, I don't know. He goes, I don't know what we're going to do. Are you going to surprise us? <laughs> Bring it. Would you okay, up your sleeve? I do. I have some good stuff. I have a lot up my sleeve. And they're longer sleeves, so I can put a lot up here. All right, here's what's going to happen is we're going to have really cool products. I have an e-bike that I've gone nuts over. You're going to see gift ideas forever and ever, and we've got everything covered for you, including one of the last looks at an incredible...